some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Ass Elmo is back and he seems to have a real chip on his shoulder. At least more so than usual. Well, anyway, we find ourselves in Okaloosa County, Florida, in Kissimmee, just south of Orlando, where Ass Elmo is doing his damnedest to try to antagonize everybody in sight. I mean, he seems to have gone full rage prick mode. I guess his excursion to Saipan and Guam wasn't exactly beneficial to him. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yep, now what are you Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you, ma'am? Yes, I need a piece of phone. Where would it be? Property? Uh, no, lease. What's that? Our lease. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, right here. Just don't look like it's on the paper. Okay. They're on their way. What's your name and batch number? Make sure you treat the inmates with respect, all right? Because you guys are real quick to speak to the inmates, right? Real tough guys in there. Real tough guys in there. You guys would never treat the, uh, the public like that. You don't have to call. Well, ass Elmo. Prison is not supposed to be a vacation, you know. It is meant to be a punishment for people like you who do things that are against the law. And if you had a bad experience in prison, you only have yourself to blame. Honest. People people come here people come here to serve a sentence, not to hear your bullshit. You're supposed to babysit and that's it. You're right, Ass Elmo. They are babysitters. They babysit a bunch of grown-ass adults who can't seem to follow the rules and get in trouble so much. And since you're comparing corrections officers to babysitters anyway, and saying that they don't have to listen to your bullshit, a babysitter would have to disagree with you on that because they have to tell children a lot of things that they disagree with. And the same goes for corrections officers. If you can't follow the rules in prison, you end up getting corrected for it. So you know what, Ass Elmo? Your attitude here already is still that of a petulant little child who is rebelling against the very authority figures that had to watch over him and probably will have to do so again. Don't. Who's going to take me out? You? Who's going to take me out? You? You gonna take me out? You're not gonna take me out? Roger that, Lieutenant. Yeah. I like Universal. You ain't got no power over me, dog. That's why I do what I do. I love Well, you see, this guy just treated that old ass lady like shit, so he gets the same thing back. Unless you're hiding a cut of the video somewhere, this is the only old lady I saw, and he treated her pretty well. What's that? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, right here. Just don't look like it's on the paper. They're on their way. So if you're using that interaction to justify how you treat everybody else around here, you are sadly pathetic, man. Very, very pathetic. But of course, you have always been a pathetic little worm. Here, and guess what? I take this one more personal because I've been in there, and I know exactly what you guys do. I know exactly how you guys treat the inmates. But then... Be before you enter those doors, all of you stick your tongue in your asses. What? You will never, you will never talk to me the way you talk to me in there out here. You see, never. That would never happen, ever, ever. Whenever I see you guys at the Wawa, you don't, you don't have the same energy. Well, yeah, duh. They're in different environments that require different fronts or different attitudes, or whatever. I don't know how well-read you are, or if you even have read William Shakespeare at all, or more precisely, his, st uh, his play, As You Like It, All the World's a Stage, and All the Men and Women are Mainly Players. They have their exits, they have their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. His acts begin seven ages. At first, the infant... 
mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. And then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like a snail unwillingly to school. And then the lover, singing like a furnace, with the woeful ballad made to his mistress, eyebrow. And I think we get the point on that. And I do believe Irvin Goffman, a renowned sociologist, did as well when he came up with the sociological theory of self-presentation, where we put on many faces, including front stage and backstage faces, how we present ourselves in the public eye versus how we are in the back rooms. It is a very good read if you're interested in sociological theories. So yeah, you encounter them in a different light when they're not on the job versus where they are on the job where they have to put on a different hat and act differently. That is no big shocker right there, dude. But to an imbecile like you who has had little to no education or even a regular job for that matter, I am sure it must be a shock to you. How are you going to treat our old lady meanly, rudely? I don't know where you think he treated anybody rudely, but you sure as hell are about you to go. treat everybody here as rudely as possible. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna kick you out of the jail for being, what, you're supposed to put me in, right? I'm the only one right here standing up for the inmates. Nobody else is here, not even their family members standing right. up for them. Right. Well, you're visiting, that's good, thank you. But they're not all bad people. Well, most of them, I've been in there nine months, actually. I've been, but all you're doing right now They're, they're very hostile in there. How long did you spend in there? Not uh, enough. Not enough. Not enough? My baby sister. Not enough. My family has been here. They are very rude. Well, who, who comes out of jail and says, they, uh, great service? Nobody. Again, prison and jail are supposed to be a punishment. You're not supposed to enjoy your time in there. Is that what your expectation was for jail? To make it a paradise? Oh, boy, what world are you living in? Can you have your name and batch number, please? No, why do you need that? That's so Mind rude. your business. Like, they are They're public employees. Shit. You're public employee. Oh, Can I have your name, bro. Corporal? Are you a corporal or a trainer or something? God. Can I have your name? <laughs> Ma'am, would you like to address your point in my camera? I would like for you to get that camera the fuck up out of my face. Or what? Because I am not. I don't give a fuck about your uh, First Amendment. Get it the fuck out of my face. I'm dead serious, bro. Hey. Have some respect for people. Sir. Hey. As many of those sliding transitions as I've seen so far in this video, which are, have been done by him, it makes me wonder, what did he say to her to trigger her like this? Because just a few moments ago, before the sliding transition, they were having a cordial conversation, and now all of a sudden, she's hostile. What happened? Hey, I'm filming. You can't do that with the business. Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, I can. No, you can't. We'll call the police then. Call the police. Take me in. You can't <laughs> take me in then. Take me in. Take, take me in. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just video recording. I'm just video recording. I say hi. I can film her all I want. I don't want to talk to you, ma'am. Don't talk to me. I'm not here to film you. Don't interfere with my job. You can't do that. You can't do that. Yes, I can. I can film. I can say whatever I want as long as I'm peaceful. As long as I don't raise my voice and I don't speak violence, guess what? Tough luck. Well, now, ass Elmo, I don't think you can do anything you want because you are in a corrections facility and I'm shocked that they haven't come up to you and asked you to leave yet. Because according to Florida Department of Corrections policy, if you are claiming to be a member of the media, which you are always claiming to be a member of the media... You have to go through the proper channels to film inside of a corrections facility. It is their policy. You guys love to scream in there to the inmates. You think you you think I haven't been in there? You think I haven't seen you guys scream out your lungs? Top of your lungs? My day room. This is my day room. Like you guys pay for it? Hey. Am I breaking the law for being rude? No, right? Good. Thanks. Before I can file like harassment charges, oh, then go ahead. Why don't you call the police right now? I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. So everybody that, that that's in this jail knows that whoever you're visiting, his wife is a snitch. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because you're, you're, you're snitching on somebody that's not doing anything wrong. It's my First Amendment. You're being a snitch in jail. Who, who does that? You're, you're, no, you're the one that said you're going to file charges for harassment. I have. Who's the one about call, talking about calling the police for, for my First Amendment right? You see, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, I didn't know that. You're a YouTuber. Am I supposed to be impressed? Does that make you special? Well, you certainly are special in your own kind of way. She's a, she's a lieutenant or a captain or something like that. She's, she has no clue that I have the right to say whatever I want. So go ahead and enjoy that walk of shame, ma'am. You see, I would love to go in there. I would love to go in there. Who's going to arrest me? What what they got tonight for dinner? What they got? Bread on bread? I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. My free speech is my free speech. You know what a Karen is? Because that's what you're behaving like. Oh, this is a Karen video. <laughs> a Karen. You know what a male Karen is? It's called a Darren. I have those too. This lady right here is a snitch. Everybody needs to know that. The one on the left. You know what it looks like to me right now? It looks like that she is doing her best to ignore you, but yet you keep on trying to press that button to antagonize her more. Which makes me think you edited out the parts that, um, well, shows you in a bad light really antagonizing her. Because, you know, there's so many slide transitions in this video. Make sure everybody knows. Kissimmee, Florida. Be, be aware. Because she's coming in the jail. I don't think your boyfriend would be very proud of you right now. Oh, he very much would be. Okay, then, 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 good. He's also a snitch. Make sure I put his name too. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because I told you that you're harassing me uh, by steady pointing that camera at me. Just because you're being rude. Like, look, there's children in here. Right just now. by, just, you're I'm not gonna film children. I'm not filming children. You're sticking. Oh, there you go, instigating. There you go. That's you. Shut up, Karen. Shut up, Karen. Please shut up. Jailhouse Karen goes insane. First Amendment audit fail. Must see. To see you calling the cops on me at the jail. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. You see, they won't even have to give me a ride if, if I did break the law. But since I didn't, I'll walk my ass right out. No, I'm not. You do, you're the one that started this bullshit. Exactly. You should not get involved in other people's business, maybe. Are you a cop? Are you a cop? No, I'm Okay, not. so mind your business, bro. Mind your business. No, like, this is my business. Stop. This is my business. This is my business. I have the right to be here. I have the right to video record. As long as I'm not speaking violence, tough luck, honey. Tough luck. And as long as I'm not screaming, because, you know, I'm not creating a dis... I'm not being disorderly. I can say whatever I want. I can be annoying. Yes. Yes. Annoying is not a crime. Learn the meaning of harassment before you, before you accuse people of crimes. Did you yell at any inmate today, sir? Did you? Well, I'm just going to end the video right here because there's only so much of this asshole I can take. Well, I'll say this, with all those slide transitions in there, it was showing clear signs that he was not exactly showing us everything, including him antagonizing people, and then getting the results of the antagonizations on video. What a scumbag pile of shit he is.